Yo, what's going on YouTube? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for hitting play on this one today, man. Today we're checking out that smell from Leonard Skinner. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and dive into this one. Check it out, see what the guys are dishing out right here. I've been asked to check out that smell um, from Leonard Skinner for some time. So we're gonna go ahead and check out the studio version. All right, if there's a live version that you guys want me to come back and check out later on, just let me know. Let me know before I hit play on this one as well. More Leonard Skinner to check out. Uh, appreciate you guys today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the description become a member on my youtube patreon three bucks is all it takes to greatly help me on the channel if you guys are enjoying the content all right here we go going in man
They're absolutely nuts, dude. They're absolutely nuts. Oh my gosh. These guys throw down big time. They throw down big time. My gosh, dude. What a pleasurable song about such a serious topic, man. Um, that smell, the smell of gas around you. To me, he's talking about, you know, I've heard growing up, I remember reading some books like, yeah, yeah they're like, you know, books about martial arts and stuff. But one of the notes that always hit me with those early books I had read was about how your body should be treated as your temple and you wouldn't ever desecrate your temple. Right. So why would you desecrate your body? Uh, take care of your body. Now, did I ever live up to this? No, man. I'm sure I'm like overweight for my size and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I do I eat fast food a lot? So unfortunately, my body's a, my temple's a little bit of a mess. Um, but that's the vibe I was getting with this song. Right. There's also a song from uh, Metallica says my body, my temple. Um, and that, that so that saying might have been around for a very long time. But when he's talking about the smell of gas around you, that's literally the vision I got was you're burning your temple down. Right. You're you're filling it. With, he's talking about with your drink, with your coke, with your smoke, uh, the needle in your arm. So to him, and he said, hey, I've been there before. I, I know what I'm talking about. I'm coming from a place understanding how bad that was for me and what it did to me. I'm trying to help you, man. I'm giving you a word of advice, a word of caution. Get away from that stuff, man. Um, so I think that's a powerful message, man, when you try to help other people because you say, hey, I've been down that road. And it doesn't affect everybody the same, um, right? Some people can do all, all that stuff and never be bothered. Other people literally lose their lives over trying to keep the pace with other people getting peer pressure into doing something or something forces them that way one way or another and they don't get the chance of return so he's just sending out a message saying hey man stop you're burning down your temple man you're burning yourself out uh tomorrow might not be there for you okay i mean powerful stuff he's saying right here but the track that it's laid on top of are you kidding me musically this thing is raw bro it is power this thing is just raw nasty i mean literally it's funny because i don't drink a lot but he's talking about stopping you know these vices and stop doing these things and i'm literally hearing the music and like man this music would go even harder if i had a, a glass of like whiskey on the rocks with me right now just sipping that thing listening to this audibly Dude, this is just a banger. It literally has like a smoky whiskey kind of... If, if you could say, um, okay, this song embodies what kind of drink? I mean, it's like a smoky whiskey, bro, to me. I don't know, man. It's amazing. So I love the sound that's coming through with this. I love the message. So it's just a, a double, trippy, quadruple whammy, whatever you want to say, man, because this thing's layered. It's awesome song. Um, you know, I don't know. Dope, dope track right here, man. Let's go ahead and get into the background of Leonard Skinner. That smell. See what we can get on this one, man. Great, great selection right here from you guys, man. Thank you for putting me on to this one, man. All right, we've got this one released right here in 1977. Okay, it's considered Southern Rock Hard Rock. Songwriters on this one is Alan Collins and Ronnie Van Zant. Okay, since at the time the song was written, the band had been using alcohol, cocaine, and heroin. Van Zant said that he started using heroin and cocaine to relieve the pressure of performing in front of large audiences. Van Zant's inspiration for the song was the increasing rec reckless indulgence of the band members culminating in the evening when guitarist Gary Rosington crashed his Ford Torino uh, into a oak tree along Mandarin Road in Jacksonville, Florida after ex excessive consumption of alcohol and other drugs. Van Zant was thus inspired to write this song as a warning about the consequences of careless overuse of drugs and alcohol. The song earned Ro uh, Rosington the moniker Prince Charming from Van Zant. Later when asked, Van Zant said, I had a creepy feeling things were going against us, so I thought I'd blow lines, slam some H, and write a morbid song. The lyrics caution that tomorrow might not be here for you, and that the smell of death surrounds you. Yeah, that's another powerful line right there. The smell of death surrounds you, man. Not only for what's looming over your head, but maybe you literally have people dying around you who are partaking in the same activities as you are, man. The smell of death surrounds you. Three days after the album was released, the band was devastated by a plane crash in which several members were killed, including Van Zant. So, of course, I've heard that multiple times. I guess it didn't really click to right here. That it's three days after this album was released that he died. Dang, man. He still had a lot of work to do. A lot of good things to do. I feel like he was on the road of doing good things right here, man. Realizing um, what's going on in himself. Kind of the whirlwind that's happening. Kind of putting out this message. Um, 
could have really kind of changed things around, turned things around for him. They died three days after the album was released right here. That Smell was the second single from The Street Survivors and fell to chart. Fell to chart, really. Wow, that's, I didn't know that, man. So um, Van Zant right here, I believe uh, I've heard his brother, right? Um, is, it a, is it his brother? Maybe you guys can let me know who took over for Leonard Skinner after his death. And uh, I don't know all the members who died in the plane crash and uh, which members they were, what they did in the band, right? Were they the guitarists and whatnot? I'm not too sure about any of that. Uh, so I'll, I'll see if I can read through this after... Well, it says right here, maybe Lin Leonard Skinner, lead vocalist and founding member Ronnie Van Zant, guitarist and vocalist Steve Gaines, backing vocalist Cassie Gaines, uh, Steve's older sister, assistant road manager Dean Kilpatrick, Captain Walter McCreary, and first officer William John, Gary, or Gray, all died as a result of the crash, man. Rest in peace, man. It says the tragedy abruptly halted Leonard Skinner's career until Van Zant's brother Johnny uh, reformed the band 10 years later so there all right so there you go 10 years later is when johnny uh reformed the band so yeah that was a big time uh stoppage for the group dude 10 years is a long time um rest in peace man i don't know that that had to hit the musical world like crazy that had to hit these families like absolute crazy um it just sounded like he had so much work to still be still be done you know what i mean um but I don't know what a sound that comes through from Leonard Skinner, man. I love listening to these guys. Uh, they really dish it out, man. These guys are amazing. They're an absolutely amazing band. Uh, so shout out to Leonard Skinner. Great, great song right here. Thank you guys for putting me on to it, man. Uh, rest in peace to these uh, members, the the road manager and, and the pilots, man. So rest in peace to everybody. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know more Leonard Skinner, man. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll see all of y'all on the next one. All right, guys. Peace.